Nope. Yep. Can you do the pledge of allegiance first? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Oh, that was the slide.
blocked everywhere we went except the floodway and all the good places that the building owned where the floodway so we couldn't put up a fence. That's why we were thinking maybe if they could just build like the equipment and make it there, people could still have their animals loose and still be able to work with training. I think that's what Austin Lincoln would be a possibility. Maybe over there by the green pavilion or on the back side. I don't know if the flood zone has been changed at all. No, the flooding has gone in the on the first thing. I feel like they're on a better course of exactly. Because one thing we ran into with Austin Lincoln Park is every inch of that park is spoken for at different times of the year. So places that look like just an open field, like, oh, we could use this, but we know it's a soccer field during these months, or know it's a field <coughs> during these months. Whereas a place like that, and you, you were saying in the beginning, like for a person that has like a dog that is like a, um, like a service dog, uh, is that, was that the original intent? Um, I not maybe necessarily restricting, but, but uh, the, the entire community, you know, um, anybody who's active and might be outside and they might not even, they're department dwellers, you know, if they're allowed to have a dog, then it would be a place for them to go and Exercise the dog a little bit. What do you think, Gordon? If there was any small area, I mean, you probably don't think a pretty small area, that would maybe be better than any other place around. I think we're thinking off on the back, like the far, just further down the back. I'm, I'm trying to, I'm picturing it, you're saying the left side or the right side? Yeah, because it's over here, and so the left is the pavilion. Yeah, so like that area the, 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 that's that's an idea. 
the way the pictures show with the stone gravel yeah, you can grab it and bring it around it. Or 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 the the invitation to that 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 would be something would be permanent. Just something to think about. And then that's really not really expensive again, all those strips that you put in it is it would give help them out when they don't have to re whack around it and move yeah. everything so it makes it easy for everybody. Yes, it's in that corner and it's most it's just gonna be like the adjoining part of this board is the grant there. So, so. I'm I'm not sure what kind of motion we have to make it. Well we to in order to say they can do it, we have to make a motion say yes, and they want to make a motion to do it time. We try it out and see how it goes. Uh, that's the best thing to do, I would say. Yeah. I second. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Okay. Cool. Good luck. Good luck. Just, uh, just keep us informed. I think when you get it. Is there a point person you want us to be in touch with before we move too far along with it? Just to make sure that we're. We'll just keep us open during it. Yeah, I'm okay. sure. Put some bright space. Get a guy to go and take care of it. Just keep us informed so when it's done, maybe we will get some pictures and do our thing. Okay, so um, you know they have to go through another loophole. They yeah, have to go through that. No, no, I'm sorry. We, but this is your first step, so your first just step. keep us informed on how it's going. But okay. Good luck with that. Thank you. And the results project needs to be done by the end of their eighth grade year. Yeah. They're coming into and September. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
you know, you know, capital or, you know, what, what spending does yeah, right. that, but that's, you know, a percentage of that 1200 not 100% of that 1200 We have to account for every single one. We have to account for every single one, every unitary that we do join. Um, so. As long as they're in the recurring mood, now the time to do it. So the money's going to be three year motion. Yeah, so, so there's, yeah, there's two, two parts. So there's the Village of the Water Grant for $640,552. Um, to go towards conducting that inventory that to do the paperwork, um, the, the research and compile the inventory and also to hire uh, contractors as needed to do the excavation. If there's a spot where we don't know what the pipe is, um, we'll have to dig it up or have a contractor dig it up and then confirm that it's you know, copper or because right now the way the regulation is if you don't know, you have to assume it's lead until you prove otherwise. So um, that's the bulk of the funding is assuming we're going to have to dig up 20, 30, 40 percent of the savings in the village um, and that's what we're funding. So that's the next question. Yeah. Um, this is going to be a contract that Butch will do this as uh, part of the village? No, it'll be, it'll be a contract. Okay. You can wrap up our ER. Who's that? The one who ripped it up? The contractor. The contractor. Yeah. Who's you with the phone call? Um, I'm just thinking all those flowers out there. We try to be systematic about where you excavate because then that's you know an impact on flower beds or you know you need to restore them again. So um, uh, and if that's an area that hasn't been dug up before. And your house may be fine, so that don't get worried yet until you know that you have a two thirds is fine. So I'm going with that. So we we need two motions or one? Two two motions. One is there's a motion to um, for the mayor to sign the intent to proceed with the grant. Let's do that one first. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
The first resolution is authorizing the village board of the village, the village board of the village of Waltham to authorize a designated representative to execute the engineering planning grant agreement. Whereas the village board is undertaking a project called the Village of Waltham Wastewater Treatment Plant Study, now it be resolved that the village town board hereby authorizes the so senior mayor to execute execute an engineering planning grant agreement with the New York State Environment Facility Corporation and any and all other contract documents and our insurance secretary to facilitate the EPC project referring herein and to fulfill the Village of Walton's obligations under the grant agreement. We need to Authorizing the village board of the village of Walton to authorize and appropriate local matching funds requirements for the village of Walton wastewater treatment plant study. Whereas the village board is undertaking a project called the village of Walton wastewater treatment plant study, now it be resolved that the village of Walton hereby authorize and appropriate a minimum 20% local match as required by the engineering planning grant program. For the village of Wong wastewater treatment plant study in the amount of $4,800 and based upon a total EPC grant award of $24,000. It is further resolved that the source of the local match and any match to exceed the required match shall be provided by in kind service. Any motion for that? Yes. Next would be the um, public works.
we're having a session up at all these days. I'm going to go in and I'm going to present it. I don't know what's going to happen, but I'm, I'm going to give me an idea of how much this book can run. I think it's about 67, 68,000. Okay. He goes, okay. He came in and he says, I'm 95% sure we're going to get it. He says they were very receptive. And he says, what we're going to do is we're going to send you a letter of, of support. And there's a, another request for some information we have to fill in. He says, give it back to me and I'll bring it back to them. And I says, well, we can't wait until next year. He says, no, this will be very quick. Right. That'll be huge. But uh, I said, we really need it really bad. So I just wanted to pass that on. So we looked into it. Good. Good. That's the answer that I have for you. I'm going to say I contacted Ford today to see if they're going to bring me a credit for buying that credit card. So I hope you send it to me somewhere positive. Well, I hope so. I mean, it's been a while. So. So, and I also said to uh, Mo Mero that we need help in this. I'm trying to get up to see what's going on. But okay. it, it just wouldn't come, it, it sounds very positive. When he said 95%, I, he said not 100, but we're, we're very close. They were very, very, good. very receptive. So, folks, I thank you for the hearing about this this morning. Also, I was talking to one of the letters from the Ford for the Cop Society program. Okay. Uh, and the deadline for that. I saw that in Yeah, yeah. So, but obviously, yeah. So, so there's a couple things in the works. Okay. Wait a minute. Can I ask you a question? Sure. I thought you were in Germany. <laughs> he, 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 we extended it. We, extended it. we asked him to stay around a little bit longer because we don't have uh, a chief yet that can fulfill it. And he has great. <laughs> but how much did you send your training on? Three dollars each. Thank you. I couldn't remember. Okay, now uh, trustee reports to start with Steve Smith. I have nothing to report. Steve Conley? Nothing to report either. Thank you all. Yes, sir. I didn't mean to do art for you. I just said, you know, you got something going on with the park and the theater. That's what I meant to say. Came out wrong. I didn't mean to. Well, this year we're still talking with the WCPA to see about uh, prioritizing things with the visibility. And uh, our meeting is this coming Thursday, so we'll have more information on that. Uh, in the theater, we have the movie Civil War, which is pretty cool. I can't say I missed it. And uh, Della May is the main stage captor for. Uh, uh, Del, uh, maybe down in Delaware, and that's May 11th. And they are a band that's supposed to be really, really good. They were supposed to come six or eight months ago, and they all got COVID, mm -hmm. and the concert got canceled. So this, this is the new concert, uh, Saturday night, May 11th. Uh, the Multi Falcon is the classic flick this month, starring Humphrey Bogart and Mary Astor, and that is May 16th, Thursday night at 7 p.m. And uh, the uh, coffee house upstairs in the Andrea Pattern Officer Room, which is always a free show, uh, has the Tune Keepers, and that is Sunday night, May 19th, from 6 to 8 p.m. Again, that's a free show. And then uh, we're gearing up for Summer in the Park. So uh, people have been cleaning up the Little League field, and that's amazing. And we want to remind people that all dogs need to be on leash at all times. Yes, sir. Speaking of that, they had the whole crew up there. Doing those and stuff, and there were multiple people <coughs> bringing their dogs in, not on leashes, yeah. and they're <coughs> all over the place, and they weren't getting them. What was that? Off the end. Yeah. yeah. Well, we need to remind people that bringing dogs to the park is a privilege, and we, we really don't want to rescind that privilege. Privilege. If there was some kind of loophole, maybe they would pay attention. We and we would love to give tickets, but our resources are limited. We don't have a police. We don't have we don't have a police officer that we can just park at the park all day. <laughs> has he been town warden by now? Has he dog warden? He, he's been around. Yes, but that I, I don't know. He works for the town. He works for us. So we can inquire to see yes. if maybe some of his hours can be shifted that he comes in the time that he stole the dog, maybe catch a few of them. 
All you need to do is get one or two, and the word is such and such. And it has to be a cop that uses it. No, no, it's the dog warden. No, the dog warden uses it. And who's the only one then? He's just your beeping for me. For being for being late with my dog warden. But he's the only one. The dog warden is, is, can give a ticket for that. Or I would imagine a police officer can. If it's the village wall, the dog has to be on leash. But like I said, we don't have the resources to park a police officer oh, park sure. all day and watch. Yeah, no, I understand. They can maybe drive through once in a while and make it lucky. Well, no, but it's kind of like I said, you know, you give a couple of tickets to out and people will get the ID. It's going to cost money. Maybe they will. And we can get the hours, like I said, and we'll talk to the, the town to the dog board to, to be tested by them and get those hours and catch one to take. But we can teach people to leash their dogs and clean up after them because we don't want to rescind the privileges of people being able to bring their dogs. You've been teaching them for like years. Yeah. Yes, I have. And, and I shall continue to. Is there a requirement that they're requiring you to get people to do that? There is signage encouraging people to do it. Encouraging people. Oh, there are stations with with uh, dog food bags, and okay, no, there's no, no, signs no, encouraging no. people to pick it up. There are not signs like threatening or <laughs> right. in the bags that are ringing when homes are all the parking <laughs> Who uh, who stops them? It's, it's, it's got to be a no problem. I, 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 we volunteer to stop those. Okay, because I saw them all the time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I figured that would help. So incentivize people to pick it up. Uh, moving on, getting to the pool, uh, we need to talk about hiring some lifeguards. We've uh, done very well with uh, getting people to sign up this year to be lifeguards. And I have a list of uh, names and salaries for the board to uh, consider passing. Uh, for arts and crafts, uh, Jacqueline Armstrong uh, has agreed to come back for another year. People love her. Uh, the arts and crafts program will begin July 1st, and it will run for six weeks. Uh, it runs from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m., Monday through Thursday. So that's, again, six weeks, and we'd like to hire Jacqueline Armstrong, uh, $15 an hour, to run that program. Uh, moving on to the mowers, we would like to hire Kurt Ellerson, starting, starting May 13th at $15 an hour. Uh, Ella Reinhardt, starting June 14th at $15 an hour. Moving on to weekend school supervisors. Uh, we have Linda Belmont starting July 15th at $15.25 an hour. And also Mary Craner starting July 1st, or July 1st at $15.25 an hour. And they will, they will, they will alternate. You know, it will only ever be one of them at a time. Uh, our lead guard, uh, uh, Kendra Church, returning, uh, starting at $16 an hour. She's the WSI guard and our lead guard. And then uh, moving into lifeguards. Uh, we'd like to hire Rachel McLaughlin, and, and we'd like to have her kind of overseeing our swimming lessons. Uh, start, starting June 24th at $15.25 an hour. Uh, Colby Frayner, starting July 1st. At fifteen twenty-five an hour, Anthony Soto, starting July first at fifteen twenty-five an hour, Reese Underwood, starting July first at fifteen twenty-five an hour, London Gardner, starting July first at fifteen twenty-five an hour, Kara O'Connor, starting July first at fifteen twenty-five an hour, Cameron Clark, starting July first at fifteen twenty-five an hour, and Brody Moore starting July 1st at 15.25 an hour upon completion of the lifeguard course, which is going to be given June 19th, 20th, and 21st. Uh, there's also going to be a uh, WSI water safety instruct instructor course being given on the same day, and uh, the lifeguard passing that course would be moved up from 15.25 to 15.50 an hour upon completion and passing. And those are the names of the lifeguards and pool personnel I have uh, to hire right now. And I would like to introduce a motion to hire these people at the starting date at these wages. 
the above is that that will put a ban on the plot left of 10,000 yard grant. So there's a couple things that we're going to look deeper into and work with both of you to see what the best options are. And so as far as the court, there's a couple items you're looking at there. Court security is a big deal. One of the uh, subjects that we discussed was the possible need for a metal detector or a wand from uh, one of the court offices that if they have some way to provide some added security. And also look into an elevator quote to either JAPC, which is the program that they get. So that's the funding. Where are you going to put it? Well, that, that's all part of it. So, we're working with what? Yeah, we, we've talked about this before. I mean, and because you got to remember, too, that we're a historical building. That, that's only applies to the exterior. So oh, so the elevator would go on the inside. Correct. So, we don't have. Well, we can look into it. Look into it. It's not that it's all inside. Okay, I'm not. I'm just saying, <laughs> I, you can bring up questions. We can bring up questions, too. I'm just saying. Where are you going to put that's all I'm going to what you have to consider. Okay. But that is it. Okay, thank you. Madam Mayor's report, the only thing I wanted to bring up um, is that I don't, I'm not sure if I mentioned last month, we've been talking to O'Connell Foundation in the county about getting grants to try and work on the building here. We need the uh, Air conditioners change. We're trying to find somebody that can be pointing on the building uh, and looking at the windows as well. Um, uh, the county said that they would write the grant for us. The O'Connor Foundation said they got contenders when they accept large amounts of money for stuff like that, which has been helping me out trying to get things done for that. So that's something we're looking into. Um, I spoke to the new owners of the, the old poppers, which is now going to be. The Walton Diner, uh, it's going to be a Greek restaurant. I spoke to the, uh, the father's name is Chris and John is one son. I forget the other son's name. His name is a real Greek name. I can't use the wrong name. I can't think of it. But they're hoping that maybe uh, my mother's day they might be able to open. The, the health department gave me okay. And so uh, I still have a variety of food. We've always had two diners, so that would be nice to have. Um, we also spoke to Dunkin' Donuts, I know it's taken forever, but they are working on it. They've been having some issues with the DOT about how they're going to enter and exit, and so there's a lot of traffic over there. But it's still in the works, it's still going to be done. It's just a matter of finalizing how it's going to be done. And uh, that's it. Are you sure it's on the Taco Bell? <laughs> <laughs> uh, the next, yeah, the next thing we have more, right? The next thing is uh, so that we need to set a public hearing date for the water rate change. Oh. There's no amount. Yeah, unfortunately. Well, it's, it's, really, it's really not bad. You need to see my water
start preparing the roads for the children to work on. Also, our annual town and school picnic will be on Friday, June 7th. We would like to borrow some picnic tables again to be used on our playground during the picnic. And the table will be delivered to town school basketball court just off the park in the studio. Lots of my town. Excuse me, if you know if any additional information would be advanced for your consideration. Melanie Hector, principal. Just need a motion. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Yes. Can, can we make it so when we pick up the picnic tables and bring them back to us? Because in, in the past, we delivered them and brought them back. But we're going to have at least a couple of them this year. If they want to borrow them, fine. But if they could pick them up and drop them off, it'd be Would you fun. like to pick that up? Okay, sure. Take that to the Because we have, do have a lot going on. Okay. Uh, we need to set a meeting date for the last fast track, 529. That works. Okay. That works for you guys, 829. At what time? 6 p.m. 6 p.m. Yep, no I didn't move to make a motion to set that meeting. Second. Second. Which was the last fast track? All in favor? No. Opposed? Local law for short term rental. Sure, we brought that up. Um, the sample was submitted. It was a, a sample. Do yeah. you guys want to continue talking about this? Do you want to drop it? What are your thoughts? Well, uh, we, we, yeah, yeah, definitely. We realize there's a lot of important questions about it. <coughs> We're sure of that. So we put it on the burner so that she could keep it active. Yeah, I think it's something very important. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, number 11, the uh, Coalition of Watershed Towns. We had, a, we had approved to put the nominations out and the ballots came back. And we have it, right? Mm -hmm. And there are, there were one, two, three, four, five, two term ballots for in the, in the, for the Delaware County. Uh, you had Eric Ball, second mayor, you had Maya Bullseye from Supervisor from Town of Delhi, Glenn Faulkner for the Middletown Supervisor, Wayne Doug Gladstone, Supervisor of Town Andes, and myself. So I sat down with, uh, Eric and we discussed this. Uh, him and I would like to be on it. And Bud Glassstone's been on it for a while. He, he was good. I go to the meeting once a month up in Austin. And he's pretty good. So, and then on alternate, <coughs> Eric is here. And Jeff Gerhardt, the mayor from the village of Delhi. Well, uh, Captain, he's the town board member of Town of Meredith. And Christy Ryan for the town member of Town of Delhi. And we had sat down again and put Eric and Jeff, the mayor of Delhi, and Will Houston from Merritt. So we already had somebody running for Delhi. And uh, they would be alternates in case one of the others don't show up. They would be the voting. I've done this now for a little over a year. These are, these are, this is a group that negotiates with the city of New York for the water rights. And, and so we're in the process of doing that now, everything is going pretty good so far. So, just we need a motion. We just need a motion. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. I make that motion. Is there a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Oh, carried. Thank you. And starting the place parking. There, I've had a few people. Talking to me, I mentioned to Butch too. Uh, when the show is over at the theater, we have signs on that part of the street where you you horizontally park. But what a lot of people are doing is they're parallel parking on the on the back side, and two or three people have said they're pretty nervous backing up because they're going to hit these cars and and action. But there's no sign on that side of the street that restricts any kind of parking. 
So they were bringing up to me that maybe we should look into seeing if we could put some kind of signage with limitation of what can lose the parking and we can't park here. This was a thought that was bringing up to anybody to think about. And a couple of them have called me at least four or five times. So they every time they back up, there's always cars right there. And it's, 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 it's a really tight spot. And I think you really need to limit it just for showtime. I mean, that's kind of close anyway. You can keep the little yeah. post office and everything across. It happened one night in yeah. the biggest venue we have in this city. There is the lady. And everybody can walk six miles. No, no, I, I got that. So, so I don't mean, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And it, it worked out. It's like a driveway. You back out. If you know how to drive, you know how to back out and not hit a car. Yeah, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Do you not hope? Oh. To, to, to send the letter there, you're not always expecting it. I, I backed into someone's car at the high, high school after a football game. And kind of thing. And there was somebody who had parked, parallel parked along the student drop off area where they are not meant to park. There weren't any signs there saying you can't park there. And you, I get it. And I backed into it. Okay, to be fair, I agree. <laughs> I didn't expect the car. So I don't expect the car when you hit it. Yeah. So it just it was just brought up. So I thought I said I would bring it up to the board and talk to everybody about it. So I mean. I mean, I don't uh, really expect a pedestrian to jump in front of my car while I'm going down North Street. No, no. If you want to leave it for now, then okay. But we can, yeah. We talk about it. Because you know how the law is, like, you know what's going to happen now. Not if you don't take the action, somebody's going to back up and hit a car, and then you have the right to do something. So it, it's just what usually happens. Yes, sir. I don't know if you can protect against every eventuality. You can't. I mean, it's, you know, so one out of how many people back up there all the time? 300? 500? And you can say you're just and making a car. Yeah. And there's maybe <laughs> a, a three close calls. And God. 
ruler and creator of all things. Your son Jesus the Christ gave us but two commands to follow. The first is to love you above all things. The second is to love our neighbors. Since Christ did not specify which neighbors, we must believe that we should love and act on behalf of all our neighbors. We are nothing more than your humble servants on this earth, but we seek the wisdom we pray that you will provide so that we may carry out these two commands. May we use only your wisdom as we try to provide love and caring for all our neighbors. As we make our decisions. Let us act in righteousness as we conduct our daily business, always keeping in mind those things which you will for us. Dearest Lord, hear our prayer. And together we say, Amen. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'll see. Also. Oh. Good evening, everyone. Thank you for coming. Um, First thing today on the our thing is the Girl Scout Troop 60304 Silver Award. The Girl Scouts from information they get to hand out to the members of the board, please.
So places that look like just an open field, like, oh, we could use this one. No, it's a soccer field very easy one. Or no, it's a field <coughs> very easy one. Whereas a place like that, you were, you were saying in the beginning, like for a person that has like a dog that is like a um, like a service dog, uh, is that was that the original intent? Um, I was not maybe necessarily the original intent, but the the entire community, you know, um, anybody who's passive and likes to be outside, and they might not even their apartment dwellers, you know, if they're allowed to have a dog, then it would be a place for them to go and. Exercise the dog a little bit. What do you think, Lord? If it was any small area, I mean, it's not like a pretty small area, the basket to me would be better than any other place around. You were thinking off on the back, like the front, you could put everything on the back. I'm, I'm trying to, I'm hand. picturing it, you're saying the left side or the right side. Yeah, so you over here and to the left of the pavilion. This equipment looks smaller than the actual surround of the flagpole. Those, I'm trying to look at the. Oh, I see. I see the tape measure there, but it doesn't yeah, say. Yeah, the tape I'm bringing up on my phone because that's how the pictures came through. One of the employees. If I'm going to show my age, but I can't look at them. Looks like a little phone book. Oh yeah, Bobby. Can I ask a question? Yeah. Um, I think the idea of having all that junk off to the side, there's a huge area where there's nothing but scrap and sludge and ice or could you, you clean that up and mm -hmm. let them use that? No, there's other stuff that is a horrible place. Well, we can clean it up a little bit, but that's right. Yeah, if you put it up a little bit. Yeah, there's the two parts stuff on our end. I'm not sure what kind of emotion we would have to make it. 